Hey everybody, this is Bruce. This video is going to be a uh, shop tour. I'll try to make it quick because um, I have a lot of junk here. So anyway, let's get started. Let's take a look. This is the, the door to my shop. I don't have it labeled or anything. So anyway, let's go inside. I guess let's, uh, yeah, let's start up here. Over here I have some of my um, race numbers. And this is like all on my wood and, and even some like steel that I picked up. Yeah, but this is all the wood and, and so forth. Uh, over here is a bunch of other random junk, some of my electronics are in there, um, a couple bike parts, other miscellaneous parts, some more wood and so forth down in that box. Here's my trash can. Uh, for no reason, I have a BMX bike sitting up here. Um, this is an old e-bike back here that I, I have I need to get rid of. Some other, like, bikes that I need to throw away. They're just wasting space. Here's my good mountain bike. Here's my belt sander. bought this in Germany uh, like a year ago. I don't know when. I have a video about when I got it. It's actually become, um, it's actually been really handy. I never take it off of the stands. I always use it like this. Down here, this toolbox or whatever it is, this was actually really a great deal. I mean, it was free. Somebody was throwing this away and like the uh, drawers were nearly seized up and I just uh, lubricated them and, and now it works great and so I keep this is like all my screws and uh, wood hardware I have a die and tap set down there up here is like all the sanding stuff it's pretty messy but it's like all the sanding stuff and files I just kind of have thrown in here um, here's just like miscellaneous junk uh, just whatever and then this bottom one I have some kind of more some of the more bulky items like my drill um, one of my power situations, one of my power strips, and this one has the stereo going to it, which is right here, uh, which my friend Ollie gave me. Thank you, Ollie, for that. And uh, I almost always listen to some music when I'm in the shop. So what I usually do is this um, this three and a half millimeter goes is the auxiliary in of the stereo. So I usually take my phone and plug it in and listen to Spotify. We do have Wi-Fi in this uh, in this shop, which is really nice. My plant, my cactus, <laughs> it's probably going to die eventually. Uh, some tires for no reason. There's my uh, Shogun Jimmy 2017 Skull Challenge entry. This old television that doesn't work, I have a video about that. Uh, another tripod. Here is my table saw. You can plug this in anywhere, move it around anywhere. I have a uh, sled, which I use quite a lot. I made, of course, myself. And I also have the fence. The uh, Midwest Man Mountain told me like how I might be able to fix it. I just haven't got around to doing it. So usually, if I really need it up, I'll actually like use zip ties and crazy stuff like that to hold it up. But I try to just like leave it where I need it in the down position. That's pretty rigged up, but um, I haven't. I don't even have to use a saw that often lately. Okay, what else, what else? Uh, this bike here is actually my friend's bike. He was having uh, some rubbing issues on the front calipers, so uh, I fixed that for him, and it's actually ready to pick up now. Yeah, I have a, a real nice uh, Park Tools uh, bike stand. I don't remember the model number, but it's, uh, it's a pretty good one. I really like it a lot. This uh, contraption, you might be wondering, what is this uh, thing that has the creepy mask? I don't know what this is. I've used it for a lot of various things. It's like a general purpose... Uh, rig like you can um with this arm you can tighten it down on that side and then it has like a loop here uh, i've used i've used it for various things it kind of comes in handy actually uh moving down here we have a whole bunch of uh metal that's like my metal box most of this is all donated via my friend uh Burum. thank you Burum. Uh, this is just an Ikea shelf that I put random stuff on. It's just a mess. A lot of the fabrics and like, this is mostly like my old clothing that I don't, you know, wear anymore. So I use it as a rag. I think I have more rags in there. Okay, uh, some more metal and like rods and so forth over here. Uh, another one of the power uh, bricks are here, power strips. Not a brick, power strips. I have here, I have it mounted to the wall so, you know, it like stays there and... This one, uh, for, first of all, you can see one of the cords come out here, one here. So I have two extra lights in addition to the ones in the in the ceiling in this uh, in this shop. So let me turn these off and let you see the difference. So this is how it looks with them on. That's off. 
here, 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 here. Uh, what else is on this uh, power? Another light. <laughs> I have a video about this. This is my uh, IKEA lamp turned into hanging lamp. <laughs> uh, I have a small welder here, just like the most cheapest basic arc welder you can find. A lot of times I don't have success using it, but I'm not blaming it because I don't, like I don't, I've never like sat here and really tried to use it properly ever. I've just kind of like needed to do something like this uh, Shogun Jimmy thing and I just quickly did it. Here's my uh, inexpensive bandsaw. I think I only paid like 80 bucks for this, but it works pretty good. Maybe I should have spent more on it. If you want to use that, uh, you'll need to go to the third power uh, strip, which is right here. Here's my drill press. I have a video about this as well. I don't remember if I have a video about this guy. But I do I know I have a video about this. And you know what's funny about this? Um, this Einhell BT-BD401 drill. Like This video on YouTube I made was really popular. It's like, I don't know, it's definitely in my top 10 out of like a hundred videos I've done. This is, this is probably top 10. And I get, I'm surprised at how many comments I get that say like, oh, that's junk. Like you shouldn't buy that. That's terrible. I think it was like 120 francs or something. But out of all my junk tools, and I, and I admit that I do buy a lot of cheap tools, like out of all my cheap things, this may be one of the best ones. Like it's never, it's done everything I wanted pretty much perfectly. Yes, it's not super precise, you know, like it's not, it's not a, precision machine really but this is probably my most used I use this all the time and it was only 129 bucks the only modification I've made is I, I've added this uh, wood table on it I never really change the uh, belts I just leave it as it is I don't even know what rpm it at it's probably at like a thousand rpm or 800 I think it's pretty low because I'm not in a hurry so I don't really care this is just some kind of light I rigged up I don't know why I bought this light and then I wasn't using it so I decided to like put it to use. So I don't know what the heck I made here. Here's my vice. It's not great. This bench here I actually made. Uh, actually I made this before I even had the shop. I made this in my house and was using it in my cellar. Uh, this bench here, uh, this one's a different story. This uh, tabletop, like somebody was throwing it away and I just thought it looked really solid and really cool. It was very heavy. Like I needed another table one day but this didn't come with any legs. So I went to my scrap bin and I was like, I wonder if I can like use some of this junk that I just have sitting around and make this make these legs. So, uh, so I did, and it's extremely sturdy. Now, <laughs> you may not believe me looking at this. Like, look at that. That looks ridiculous. And I kind of did that on purpose to make it look ridiculous. But it's actually solid. And the reason why it's pretty solid is because of this. This is like, I don't know if you can see that. This is probably like an inch thick. And I have that screwed on to these, these members here and the other side. All in all, with all that together, this thing is like extremely solid. Here's another kind of rigged up setup I have. This thing here I picked up out of the garbage. Uh, it I don't know what it even is. It's like the top is kind of a dresser. This is where uh, I keep like my measurement tools, my calipers, the square measuring tape. I just think... Most, when I think measurement, I think about this drawer. This is where, and I think I, yeah, I even kind of outlined my calipers to remind me what that drawer is. Now, this is my bike parts drawer. It is ridiculously overflowing right now. Like, it, it this is terrible. I don't even want to open this. Up here, I have uh, something else somebody gave me. I keep, like, all my, dr um, not all the drill bits, but most of the drills and milling and all that type of st good stuff is here. Down here is just some miscellaneous things, junk like gloves and I don't know. It's like an everything drawer. Uh, here's my bench grinder, is what you call it? Bench grinder? Yeah. Uh, this is another Einhell product. This has been really good to me. I can't complain one bit. Here I have it mounted just with some dowel pins actually. So it's just kind of using gravity. It's not. Uh, uh, here I have my Allen wrenches. Okay, so now we're actually back around to the door. That's the trip. Boy, what else should I show you? Well, you know, I didn't show you the middle. Okay, so in the middle I have this uh, table. Uh, another friend gave me this table. Right now I'm working on something, which may be a video later. It's a basic table. Uh, I think somebody actually made it themselves. It's pretty sturdy. One other, one unique feature about this shop, you can see here, is it has uh, carpet. And I don't like it. It's very hard to clean up. Um, but also, now that I have all my stuff here, I don't really feel like removing the carpet because I'm going to have to move all this stuff and I know that it's going to be a little bit harder on my legs to stand on. Not that I have a problem with that anyway, but 
And maybe that's because I have carpet. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit harder if I just bring it down to the cement. Also, the sound is going to probably be a little bit worse because this, you know, does absorb the, the echo some. So, I don't know. For now, I'm just leaving it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.